Just a few weeks ago, it seemed like the Black Lives Matter protests were all we could talk about. We saw peaceful protests turn into riots. We had Trump tweeting. And you could then be forgiven for thinking that everything's gone silent and everything's OK. But the protests haven't stopped. Have a look at this. This footage we're seeing here is New York. It's the 30th day in a row of protesting and across the United States radical racial tensions and demand for action continue. Peaceful vigils have also been held this past week in for Elijah McLean, a young black man killed at the hands of police last year. Despite the mourners merely play, playing the violin in his honour, police disrupted the event. Have a look at this. Uh, Robert, why does the media not want to show these protesters in a peaceful light? You know, like this, the peaceful protests are not at the front of the news and they're also not reporting on the unnecessary violence here. Is because the news cycle's moved on? You know, that, that it's, it's a really sad thing, Rob. You know, you and I know the old saying, if it bleeds, it leads, uh, which is basically, you know, that, that governs what news does, especially in this 24-hour news cycle. Uh, unless something big happens again, we've moved on. Uh, that is... Media gives you what the, what, what the majority want, right? So people used to say that today, tonight, in a current affair, they're awful programs and blah, blah, blah they rated in the millions, you know, and, and a current affair still rates very high. It's what the people want. So um, if, if the people as a whole wanted uh, to see more of these, you know, just the same kind of stories that we've seen, then the media would do that. So it's, it's this two-edged sword, I think, you know, you, you give what will rate, and if it doesn't rate, you don't do it. Rob I, I, Rob, I actually really want to know your thoughts on this because, you know, as a media executive, you would have had to have made these decisions before. Uh, yeah. And, you know, you can't keep doing day after day after day after day of protests if nothing different is happening. Isn't that right? No, the, the police crashing a violinist is, is a bit of news because it's just why, you know, like, I mean, of all the pressure police are getting to do that is just stupid from a PR but point I, of view. I would suggest that that was probably like that was probably a you know a third segment in the 6 p.m news uh yeah. where they say it, it's certainly not the leading story that's what i'm asking you uh you know you, i agree you with said you. the word yourself story. if it bleeds it leads um news services especially our 5 6 p.m news services they want excitement they want stories so when there was protests and have statues to, yeah. falling down that's why it led the news the fact that pre sure. protests are peaceful it's not really that much of a news story. And so it yeah. comes back to me, and it's funny, I've been thinking about this a lot today, and I actually may have been critical of the, um, the, the protesters when we were talking about it because they were tearing up houses and looting, and I just didn't care for that. But it put this movement on the world stage. Everything has been flowing on now about Black Lives Matter. You know, it, it, to the point where it goes too far when we're talking about TV and shows being pulled and episodes and all that kind of stuff. But there is a real movement happening. And would that have happened with peaceful protests? And I'm actually not so sure that it would. So I'm actually coming around to the fact that if you want real change, yeah. Ben, maybe you actually have to go the whole hog. The, the one thing I've always found bizarre is when courts decide whether a protest can go ahead or not. Isn't a protest about protesting against the man and against the machine and this idea that you can legislate whether a protest can go ahead has never made sense to me. But I'm actually starting to think that if you really want a message out there and you want to get onto these news services, you have to break a few eggs. Yeah, I think so. I think at the end of the day, though, we need to think about things a little bit uh, differently. You know, it's really funny. We had Heidi last night on Ion Big Brother and we were talking about how she had shaped her career very early on working in regional radio. And lots of people in regional radio are fighting over trying to move up the ranks and get to the metro environment. How do you create a voice? How do you stand out above everybody else? And when it comes to these protests, I think that we need to think about how and which and why we protest in 2020. And I think that, you know, gathering in masses isn't the right thing to do at the moment because of COVID-19. Yes. 
How can we start to think about getting our message across in different ways? How do we get the media's attention without having to be abhorrent? Like we need to start thinking about new ways of getting our message across in, um, you know, with integrity. And without with money, it's very difficult, Ben, because the news wants... I had to, and I know, but you know what? Heidi didn't have any money to get the message across to stand out in her regional environment. Uh, and that's the thing. It's like we, it, doesn't, it doesn't always come down to money. I think you can create a voice and you can create a platform out of nothing, you know? I think so I there's think definitely truth to that, but when you're trying to get a movement happening, I just I, ju I don't know what the answer is because it's just not that easy. And especially if you are trying to get coverage on the news services and uh, and, and being very clever about it, maybe doing smart kind of protesting, um, you know, something that gives the news a bit of colour uh, because that's really what it is. They want the excitement of a protest or they want the colour of something quirky. You know, the fact is that they're... They don't care about the actual um, world good. They're after ratings and making their new service seem interesting, you know, and, and, and that's the fact. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob.